Hello folks, this week we have what I think is really exciting news uh, for you. So just a few hours ago, we finally, finally pushed the button on the rebranding of Office 365 DSC to now being Microsoft 365 DSC. This aligns with a company-wide strategy to rebrand, if you want, the, the just the Office 365 brand into something that's much larger than this and includes Azure that includes some Intune stuff as well. So in order to align the tool with the the actual um, cloud ecosystem, if you want, we felt like it was important for us to go and rebrand the tool. So as far as changes, well, nothing has changed other than the name of the module, right? So if you have an existing configuration that you've been using for a while now, the only change, only change, for you is to go in instead of doing import DSC resource at the top of your uh, module uh, or at the top of your configuration to just import Microsoft 365 DSC. The rest is going to be the same. Of course, if you install the module, you're going to need to do install module Microsoft 365 DSC instead. Uh, some of the commandlets that we expose publicly have been rebranded. So, for example, if you want to grab the latest version from GitHub automatically, the commandlet has been renamed from install O365 DSC dev branch from install M365 DSC uh, dev branch, right? We're just trying to keep consistent with the changes we've made. Um, the big one that's gonna affect most of you folks is the export, right? Again, so it used to be export O365 configuration. We've rebranded that to export M365 DSC configuration. So a few le extra letters in there, but just trying to keep consistency across all the commands that we exposed. Uh, as far as resources right now, not a lot of changes again, right? So one of the things, if you go in, oh, by the way, look at this shiny new logo, right? Um, so we've moved away from the Office 365 with embedded PowerShell in it logo into the, the new Microsoft 365 DSC logo. But if you go in and you do export M365 uh, DSC configuration, you're going to realize that there are some additional workloads. Actually, there's one right now, but we are working on additional ones. Uh, but we do support now extracting Azure AD components. So where is this? There you go. Right. So we do support um, Azure AD. Right. So we support things like groups naming policy, being able to go and just set general group setting. Should guests be allowed to create groups? Uh, should guests be allowed to invite members to groups? Group lifecycle policy, those are the groups expiration settings. So again, you can read all about those resources on the official repositories wiki. So I encourage you folks to go there. And we have a bunch of other resources that are currently in the works. We have uh, Azure AD device. We have Azure AD application that are coming in within the next few days. So really exciting stuff. On the team side, we don't have new resources yet. We do have a dedicated team working on filling some of the gaps that remain, especially on the Sky for Business aspect uh, and that is really it as far as changes to the, the core of the module. One thing I might have mentioned in the last episode I'm not sure of though is the website that we launched. So we launched an official website it used to be office365dsc.com. It was office365dsc.com for about a week and a half before we did the rebranding last night. But now if you go to Microsoft DSC, uh, Microsoft 365 DSC, sorry, forgot the days in there, so dsc.com, you're gonna be brought to this website here. Again, right, main page is really the, the sales pitch, if you want, what is the tool all about? So this is the type of thing you would send to your manager and go, look, we need to do this. This makes a lot of sense. It's gonna save us hours of work. This is what it is. It's basically the elevator pitch, the landing page. So what we do is configuration as code. We support exporting current configuration. We support synchronizing multiple tenants and monitoring as, uh, accessing, a, um, accessing an, an existing tenant and getting notifications. Really, the main part of this site is the getting started section, which has been completely updated to reflect Microsoft 365 DSC. And of course, the templates section, which we've talked about last week. Uh, we do have a few templates in the work still. They're, they're not published yet. Um, if you are interested in contributing some templates, some stuff that you've built for your own organization and you think, you know what, it, it would be worth sharing that publicly, please reach out on Twitter, reach out on GitHub. More than happy to actually promote that template to the website. 
And again, we're always looking for people to contribute to the project. We are looking for people to submit feedback, people to submit ideas, people to test, to log bugs. I mean, we know we still have some, some kings in there. I mean, that's just the reality. We keep adding new stuff. Stuff keeps changing in the back end as well. So we're, we're keeping up. We're getting notified on a daily basis whenever some settings have changed or some settings don't expose the same values as they used to so we can quickly act and fix them. But again, any help on that front is uh, greatly appreciated. And if you want to contribute some resources, we're looking right now for folks to help out on the Azure AD front. We're looking for folks to help out on the Intunes uh, front. Security and compliance, we still have a few resources to nail down. Exchange Online, there's still quite a few resources that we can use help on. So anything you feel like you can contribute, please reach out again. GitHub is the place to go. Even if you just have a question, go to the GitHub repository, go to the issue tab, even though it might not be an issue, just ask the question in there, create a new issue item and ask the question. On that note, I wish you folks a good week. Please stay safe and we'll talk again next week.